Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean here. It's 31 degrees this morning, but the high is supposed to reach 54 because we got a little system that's coming in, a little front. So I've got about four hours to fish, three and a half, according to the weatherman, before it starts raining. But um, if we don't catch any fish before it starts raining, of course, I'm going to keep fishing until we do. But uh, this morning, I'm wanting to check out some deep crappie. Now, I've been catching a lot of shallow water fish, you know, not having any trouble locating them, but I'm wanting to check out a couple of deep areas. Um, I'm wanting to see if those fish relating to deep water. They should be, like I said, there are several patterns that can be going on on your lake at any time, but I'm just curious. So come along with me and let's feel our curiosity and see if there's some deeper fish. Woo-wee! Open water fish right here, folks. Good crappie. I'm going to throw me a marker out right here. <laughs> I'm in 20 foot of water right here, and that fish was deep. He was down there about 15 foot deep, but that's the first crappie of the day. Let me get a marker, and I'm going to throw me a marker buoy right here. I'm an old timer. I use marker buoys. Let's put it back. Good crappie. Now today we're talking about uh, fishing in open water. Uh, I'm out here on a creek channel. Okay. I seen some shad suspended. There's another one right here. I'm on a big school of crappie right here. Oh, don't get my marker buoy. Let me get him out of my marker buoy. Here we go. Some shad suspended right here, and these crappie are in them. Now, how long they're going to stay, I don't know. <laughs> but that's the second fish. Let's let him go. I don't know how many we're going to catch right here. I, sometimes I, I'll catch a limit. And in a 12, 15 minute video, I can't put but so many, but this is a big school of crappie. Let's come on back through there and see if we can catch another one. There we go. I'm having to be very, 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 this is a good fish right here. Real good fish. Very precise on my depth control right here. They're not wanting to move up for bait. This is a good fish right here, folks. Nah, he just mean. Right on that drop off. I love to fish open water like this at times when I'm fine schools of crappie bunched up. But they move a lot. They move a whole lot. And it's hard to keep up with them, but it's a fun way to fish. Let's let him go right here. There he goes. It's a real fun way to fish. Get us another cast out there. While I still just about know where they're at. Need a little wind. It sure does help when you're crappie fishing. To have a little bit of wind, especially in real clear water. It just seems like they bite a little bit better, a little breeze. There we go, another fish. That's a crappie. They sure can fight if you'll let them fight. And I'll show you right here what I'm using today. I just let them fight. I have my fun with them. <laughs> I'm not in no hurry out here. I want to enjoy myself. He's cutting the rug. Come on out here. What you doing down there shaking your head? You got a face full of what? What do you got in your face? Quit. Quit. 
Stop it. Okay, I had to check my camera. And I thought he'd throw uh, water on my lens, but that's a good fish right there. There ain't nothing wrong with that right there. Let's let him go. All right, today I'm using the same thing that I used a couple videos back. I can't remember. I fish a lot. So this is a blue ass Bobby Garland jig right here. Blue ass. I love that color and clear water. Um, four pound line. And I've got it tied with a loop knot. So the jig, I have a lot of action. Let's put it in the water. See that action? And the jig is staying horizontal. Very important. That loop knot's a great, great knot for open water fishing. No doubt. Or if you want to tie it all the time, it's good. Four pound test, Mr. Crappie. And I'm still using this CR7 cadence rod. Six foot three, medium light got a fast tip it's just a good rod now i ain't kidding about that i'm not saying it's better than the eagle claw rods that i've been using but this one right here is real sensitive and it's good for this application right here but we're gonna let that jig get on back down in there to right i've counted down to right there about 10 11 feet of water and those crappie i'm fishing a little high for these fish always fish high and they'll just come up and get it they're up feeders I gotta get these coveralls off folks I tell you what I caught those fish boom 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 and then they're gone that's typical of fishing drop offs or break lines when you have fish that's moving like this uh, when that happens, don't just homestead the spot, in my opinion. Now's the time to search and relocate those crappie again. It may be a different school, but those fish come through quick, and that was the end of it. They're gone. That's typical of a crappie. They move, whether they're in tight the structure against the bank or back up on flats or suspended over brake lines like these are in this case, but moving and relocating is, is actually, in my opinion, the roots of crappie fishing. These are the movingest fish on the planet. Let's catch another one. Get these off. <laughs> Whoa, I'm talking about hay. All I'm trying to say, it's real simple, okay. Whoa. Whoa! There we go. The breeze started blowing. And I had to reposition on this drop off to face the wind. I always face the wind. In my opinion, here's a pretty good fish right here. And even though it got overcast, all of a sudden, them fishes went a lot deeper. I was fishing a little bit too shallow. They just went deeper. Looks like when this, <laughs> they do right opposite of what you think they'll do. But here's a good fish. That's a doggone good crappie right here. Now that is a healthy fish. No doubt. Let's let him go. Go on back, you pretty thing. There he goes. Well, folks, that's the end of it for today. I tell you, the last few, uh, couple videos, this Bobby Garland, blue ice has really been shining. And the color will probably change, you know, on in the winter. Uh, it's still late fall, but the fish is definitely in a winter pattern. Uh, caught some pretty good ones deep. Uh, not a whole lot of them. They kind of escaped me. And uh, But I had a lot of fun out here, and I want to tell y'all that thank y'all for watching. 
I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat me some buttermilk and drink some cornbread because I appreciate everything y'all have done. That's the reason I'm going to do it. And, hey, I can't Remember, go fishing when you can. We'll go. Oh, yeah.